Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Dearborn, Michigan with Freedom News Now. And apparently this joker had been arrested within the past few days because of a Second Amendment stunt. And now he is out and apparently he wants to set the local news team straight on the whole thing. But he is completely roasted by them. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's your name? Never gave it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It's all right. We're good here. I'm just finishing up my work, and then I'm going to be on my way. All right. Well, I'm Charles Clinton. Nice, nice to meet you, Charles. Yeah. Well, uh, hope uh, whatever you're working on uh, goes well. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Breaking news. This riveting footage brought to you by Freedom News Now. A tyrant is walking down the street with a cup of coffee. Oh, whatever will we do? Yeah, such riveting news from FNN. You want to say something? Did you want to say something? About what? Are you James? Huh? Did I say that? Well, I'm, I'm saying, are you James? And do you want to say anything about the fact that, you know, you got arrested for your little stunt yesterday? And what's your name? My name is Amy Lang. Did you want to say anything? Because we're going to be live here in a minute. I've got no comments. Oh, uh, well, are you James? Yes? No? Okay. So he did tell you he was. I don't have any IP. I don't have any IP. This no. looks dead to me. Dead to you. Do you have IP? Yeah. Hang on. Now I've got it. I'm just here to make sure this story is covered fairly. Oh, you want to make sure that the story is covered fairly, yet you refuse an opportunity to give an interview to tell your side of the story. That makes logical sense right there. Not even an attempt to share your story. Buzz it up, we're ready. Yeah, we're fine. I'm ready. You good? Okay, so we're going to stay here and make sure we want to see it, that Fox News covers this story fairly. By fairly, do you mean for her to get on her knees and lick your boots and put you on a pedestal to make you look like some grand civil rights leader, something more than you actually are? which is a self-entitled frauditor with no brains whatsoever. You had your opportunity to get on there and present your side. Well, the chief releasing a statement today saying that this isn't even a Second Amendment issue for him. This was about the safety of his officers and the general like people were inside the lobby when this all went down.
Okay, you guys heard that. You hear how the media and the government work together to push fake news to the people. Oh yeah, and we're supposed to trust the assholes who go into post offices, schools, and other government buildings to harass public employees over nothing? Yeah, sure. Live in your little fantasy world that you are the real news. Come on now. Everyone here saw the real story, saw the real video. They saw what happened. They're not relying on the police to tell them what to say. This isn't modern day reporting. This is being a stenographer writing down what they tell you to say. Journalism is pretty much writing and reporting on the facts of an event. What you are trying to do is called spin. You're trying to spin a yarn, a.k.a. create a story around what you did and report it as actual news rather than facts, a.k.a. having an extreme bias. Let's resume back with this report. from an actual television camera. Way to go! Sweet James, not confirmed that he's James, uh, but is here shooting us, shooting him. This is a bizarre world we live in. Anyway, um, that is the situation here in Dearborn. Again, the police uh, being credited for showing a whole lot of restraint. We're now live in Dearborn. I'm Amy Lang, Fox 2. to say uh, I did call James today and he did not return my phone call um, again if this is him right here he's not saying uh, so I'm not really sure what the point was uh, but obviously everyone we've talked to today has brought up exactly your point that at the 6th precinct we saw a horrible situation there and, and certainly uh, it is believed by the folks we talked to today and some of them open carry advocates that uh, there was a better way to make a point. Sure. So this reporter, she's accusing me of being liberty is for everyone. Shows you what kind of reporter she is. Not a very good one. That's Fox 2 News for you. More fake news from Fox. The fake news just keeps coming out. Well, first of all, Knuckle Dragger, she never identified who you are because you never identified yourself to her. So she had no idea who you were. So that's another lie under your belt right there. Well, second of all, you are no journalist because you create the news, you don't report it. Sticking your camera into people's faces is not news. Well, now that's the end of the video, so I hope you enjoyed it. Take care now.